As we go get some milk, maybe you want to take your no-bake peanut butter granola bars to a community gathering, and one that meets every Thursday night in Van Wert is called Life Tree Cafe. Mm. This is not a cafe, cafe where you go to purchase a meal, but you can get out of it as much, much deeper. Dancy has all the details. There's a really neat concept that started up in Van Wert that we're going to talk about now. It's called Life Tree Cafe. And joining me is, are Susan Matthew and Ron Allison, both with Life Tree Cafe. And I want to welcome you to the show. Well, thank thank you. you so much for having us. We're sure. excited about this and pleased that we can get the word out to oh, our community. I'm so glad. This is really, um, it's unusual, but I think could be so valuable to so many people. And um, again, it's called Life Tree Cafe. Who wants to explain what it is? Go ahead. Well, Life Tree Cafe is a conversation cafe. Uh, we meet weekly where we come and talk about specific topic okay. and um, as related to faith and life. And so this um, cafe, again, you don't um, sell anything. It's, right. it's like strictly a conversation cafe. People can come through the door, have a seat, and then um, there is a topic right. presented every week. Mm -hmm. um, and then basically you take it from there. Right, right. There's a film clip usually. Okay. Well, not usually, always. Mm -hmm. And then um, there are questions, discussion questions that people can discuss around a table of four and um, share together their thoughts and their insights and can be brought into a larger group if appropriate. But um, it's guided so that um, you know, we stick to the topic. Yes, because I could focused. see it just really <laughs> going off in tangents, you yeah. know, the way the world is anyway. So um, what was the purpose of this? I know that this is, I guess, sponsored by First United Methodist. Correct. Okay. Correct. So what, what are you hoping for? We're just hoping to reach out to the community to, to show people that there's other options other than going into a church building, um, a traditional church setting, this is just kind of a, a friendly atmosphere, open to whoever wants to come. Yes. You come as you are, everyone's welcome. And have you been successful so far in drawing a number of people with different backgrounds through the doors? Yes, we have. It's always interesting to see who's going to pop in. I'm sure. Because you never know. And um, people are very curious because it's rather new and it's a, a different concept. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you don't have to have a specific belief, uh, you know, you just need to be searching. Because, you know, even within a church congregation, you can have different beliefs. Of course. And um, I, I would think that you could be walking on some very um, shaky ground sometimes, maybe, when it comes to beliefs. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you deal with that? How, how do you deal with, um, because I just look at the news, every newscast or every story that airs, you can have a different opinion on it, you know? Right. Well, the concept is that your thoughts are welcome, your doubts are welcome. Okay. You know, just as you are. You're welcome just as you are. We're all in this together. Mm -hmm. We're here to connect with you and connect God in this process. You know, Ron, you did bring up a really good point about church. I think um, there's still that stigma out there. Even though we have churches that have contemporary services now where people wear jeans and shorts and so forth, it's still walking through those doors that can right. be very intimidating. Right. So I can see where this would really appeal to those people. Right. And we have uh, uh, visitation people that, uh, hospitality hosts is what we call them, that pretty much stand at the door and everybody that walks in gets greeted, gets instructed on where to go, what to do, where the refreshments are. Um, it's just a friendly atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You know, we just try to make it as comfortable and friendly as, as we possibly can. Do you try to bring it back to, um, to the Word and, and what Jesus tells us yes. ultimately the way we're supposed to think or the way we're supposed to live. Yeah, there's always a connection okay. with scripture, prayer. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty low key, you know, we're not pushing, but just offering. Like, I think the words are, if you don't mind, I would like to pray with, pray. Okay. You know, together. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just kind of. Right. 
Just and if they choose not to, they're that's, not that's ostracized okay. that's or okay. anything? No, okay. that's fine. Okay. Where do we find you in Van Wert? Well, we're on the main drag mm -hmm. going north and south of Washington Street, just south of the railroad track at the Backwell. It's a new uh, music studio, which has just opened this fall, and they have allowed us to use a room in their, in their building. So it's 116 North Washington Street. And what nights and times do you meet? Or days, maybe? We meet on Thursday night okay. at 7 o'clock, and we try to hold it to right at an hour from 7 to 8. Okay, very good. So if there are babysitters or other obligations, transportation, right. you, right. you work around that. Very good. So if anyone is interested in learning more, um, would like to maybe be a part of this, how, how do they reach you? Well, they can reach us um, on our Facebook page. Uh, at, it's called Life Tree Cafe at the Bachwell. So they can find us there. Okay. And also at our, our website at our church, um, vanwordfirst.net. Okay. Very good. Well, Susan and Ron, thank you so much for being with us, and I wish you continued success. I hope it really takes off, and we'll see Life Tree Cafe popping up in other areas as well. We so, hope so. We hope thank, thank you, you very so much. much.